Hi everyone, I'm a PhD student at the Biomedical Engineering Department working with Professor Frank Liu. Our research field is biophotonics and my project focuses on imaging lipid metabolism in live cancer cells. Today, I'm going to give you a lab tour to show how we build stillmate Raman scattering microscopy and use it to image and track microlipid droplets in live cancer cells. Our lives are stored in liquid nitrogen. We then warm up the cells in 37 degrees Celsius water bath. All the cell culture operations should be done in the decontaminated bone safety cabinet. We use medium to culture the cells. The cells will be cultured in 37 degrees Celsius incubator for another 48 hours before imaging. And we change this culture medium uh, to mimic the microtumor environment with uh, different conditions like free fatty acid, uh, nutrient depletion, or hypoxia. This is our optical imaging lab. We build the SS microscopy on the anti vibrational uh, optical table in a free space manner. This ultra fast laser provides two laser beams to excite the samples. This system includes many different types of optical, mechanical, and electrical components. This figure shows the optical path of our SS microscopy. In our lab, we learn to uh, align optics and to develop many different types of optical imaging systems. Using SS microscopy, we can selectively uh, excite and detect chemical bond vibration in lipid molecules at a Raman shape 28 to 4 cm. Such kind of chemical contrast imaging does not rely on fluorescence staining. We are now imaging the cancer cells. The bright spots are the microlipid droplets in cancer cells. The bright spots are the microlipid droplets in cancer cells. We treated the cells with oleic acid, a type of fatty acids. We observed that the cancer cells could uptake the uh, free fatty acid quickly and synthesize lipid droplets, indicating an, incre an increased lipid metabolism activity in cancers. Our results may contribute to the development of uh, more effective anti-cancer drugs. Okay, thank you for watching.